every black powder arm starts its life with a promise of eternity. If you have a percussion revolver like this and you know how to care for your gun and you're a competent user, this pistol will last forever. However, there are always some people who think they are smarter than the books and they have the courage and the blindness to experiment with breaking the basic rules, the very basic rules of black powder shooting. The solid frame 1858 Remington revolver is considered one of the strongest of the percussion revolvers of the 19th century. But today it is not a hard job to destroy it if you don't wish to respect the basic safety rules of the black powder shooting. This poor old Remington Navy was loaded by its user with smokeless powder removed from a blank cartridge. I will not tell you how much or what type of powder was used because I don't want to give any ideas. It is enough to say that this powder and load was not the strongest possible. The user was a really lucky guy, nor he nor other shooters were injured when this happened. He could easily lose his hand and could suffer a greater injury as well. He was also lucky as he loaded only one chamber. The cylinder was not able to withstand the gas pressure of the well-choked load. The chamber opened with two metal fragments separating. These shrapnels penetrated deep into the ceiling of the room. You can still see the remains of the concrete on the metal shrapnels. As the loaded chamber exploded, the separated fragments broke the top of the frame. He was lucky that the neighboring chambers were empty. Check closely the walls between the chambers, the gases broke through here as well, so if there was a charge in the neighboring chamber, it would have gone off as well, multiplying the effect of the explosion. The cylinder pin left the assembly forward, and it was bent strongly, so it was not possible to reinsert it anymore. The high pressure also broke the frame at the joint where the loading lever is located. It is the weakest spot, and if we put the two parts together, we'll see how the barrel bent forward. Remember, only one charred chamber caused this catastrophic failure. Imagine the effect of two or three smokeless powder loaded chambers. If you try this, you will injure yourself and what is worse, you will injure the shooters beside you. So believe me, don't risk your life with loading any kind or any volume of smokeless powder or unknown origin powder in your black powder gun. Remember, be safe, you only have one life.